Hi guys, this is Marvin from ShopSalaPage.com and today we're going to do a quick tour of my audio recording setup on a budget. And I'm also going to teach you guys on how to use the BM800 without the phantom power and how to edit the audio recordings on Audacity. So let's get right into it guys. Guys, so let's start with the microphone that I'm using, which is the BM800 condenser microphone that I got from Lazada for about 500 pesos. And I'm not going to do an unboxing of this microphone anymore because I've already done two videos about it. I'll link that on the description below. But basically, what you're getting is the BM800 microphone itself, uh, female XLR to 3.5 millimeter jack uh, cable, uh, foam filter, and the uh, shock mount here, and of course box and manual all right and then i have here my do-it-yourself pop filter that i made using an embroidery loop and a panty hose and i attach it using a flexible wire here on my scissor arm mic holder that i also bought from lazada for about 200 plus pesos i'm not going to do an unboxing of this anymore because as you can see it's already set up and i don't want to remove it but basically what you're getting is the scissor mic holder itself and a mic holder like this that you can attach here. Um, I'm not using this because I already have the shock mount that came from the BM800 uh, microphone. I heard that if you buy the BM800 microphone on other uh, shops, you will not get the shock mount. But um, if you bought the, the same brand or the same, the same one that I'm using, the box is here, you will get that shock mount. So, aside from that, the review that I can give you about the scissor mic holder is, it's fine. It's uh, movable as you can see here. I think it's a little bit fragile, so you have to be careful when using it. See? It's a little bit lighter, and I think the steel is not that strong, so you just have to make sure that you know, you'll be careful on using this. But I think for normal use, it's gonna be alright. By the way guys, when I'm done recording, I can just move the mic here on the side and move on to edit the recordings that I've made. Now let's move on to the other peripherals that I'm using for audio recording. As you can see here guys, I have the USB sound card that I bought from CDR King for about 120 pesos. I use this to split the uh, input-output of the audio recording so that I can um, attach the BM800 here for the microphone and a 3.5 millimeter jack going to the speaker so that once I'm done recording, I can just listen to the recording on my speaker without removing the 3.5 millimeter, millimeter jack from my laptop. But if you're using a PC, chances are you already have a dedicated microphone input and speaker output. So as I mentioned earlier guys, this is just a budget audio recording setup. So you have a 500 pesos mic, 200 pesos mic holder, 120 pesos USB sound card and a basically free do-it-yourself pop filter. I will link all those items below in the description just in case you want to check it out. So if you sum it all up guys, this is just below 1000 audio recording setup. So now that you already have an idea on how I record my audio, I'm going to teach you guys on how to edit it as well on Audacity. I'm no way professional on this guys but I'm just going to give you my experience and my workflow on how to edit my audio recordings. So the software that I'm using is Audacity. It's free and it's downloadable from Google. So once you hit the record button, you actually have to wait for a couple of seconds before you actually start recording your speech or your voice. Because you need the background noise to be recorded as well because you will need it when you have to remove it from your audio recordings. Alright, I'm going to start recording and I'm going to wait for a couple of seconds before I actually speak. Mic test, mic test, mic test, mic test. So as you can see here, when I play it, there's a background noise. Here's our recording without editing. Mic test, mic test, mic test, mic test. So we're going to remove the background noise. For us to do that, we have to select the background noise that we recorded before we start recording the voice itself. So again, as you can see here, there's a background noise. For us to remove it, we go to Effects, Noise Reduction, Get Noise Profile. 
So basically what the software is doing is that it's getting the uh, background noise here so that if we apply it, Control A, to select all the recording, go to Effects, Noise Reduction, at the step 2, it will actually remove that part of the clip. As you can see, it's already flattened. So when you play it back, the background noise is actually gone. So if you check the recording, Mic test, mic test, it's a mic test. It's a much clearer audio recording now. So that's it guys. That's the basic workflow that I use if I want to use the BM800 without the phantom power and if I want to remove the background noise from my audio recordings. So now if you want to enhance the audio recording even further, here's my workflow. So um, first let's listen to the audio before editing. Mic test, mic test, mic test, mic test. So my workflow starts with the compressor. So we select all the clips, effects, compressor. Uh, the threshold they use is negative 15 decibels. The noise floor is negative 20 decibels and click OK. And then I um, add some equalization. Effects, equalization, bass use. And then another effects, equalization, treble boost. So if you listen to the audio recording after editing, mic test, mic test, mic test, mic test. It's more louder and more clear. If you want to use this on your audio recording, feel free to do so guys. There you have it guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure to check the full article. Link on the description below. And I hope you can take away something from this video guys. And again, I'm going to link the items on the description. And um, subscribe if you like this. And see you next time. Thank you. Have a good day.